Hey there, everybody. Today I have the Ayers Metropolitan. This specific model is the MT03. There's going to be four different models of these. They are $790. Now, the four different versions, you can take a look on their website. There is a white and orange, as you see here. There's a white and black, a blue and white, and then a black and white. But the black and uh, white is limited to 10 pieces only. I'm not, I'm not sure why that is. So um, it shows that it is still available. Um, so if you want a black and white one, I would act fast. Now, $790. I'm going to give you the full specs here in a minute. Obviously, of course, the biggest draw to this watch is going to be this dial because it is a full loom dial. So you have Super Luminova all over the entire dial. And then you have the orange Super Luminova on the markers here. When this glows, it's obviously very, very cool. Now, initial prototypes of this watch, back before this specific one became prototyped, the watches looked more, uh, the dial looked more like Sarpaneva watches. And if you're not familiar with those, go ahead and Google them. They're amazing, cool watches, very distinctive. And uh, whether they got initial feedback on social media when they posted them or whatever the decision was, they went back to the drawing board and they came up with a cleaner version, a little more original. You can see you have this cushion case design here. Um, it really is almost all brushed completely except for the high polish here on the bezel. These are actually, uh, on the bracelet here, are brushed, but one is brushed, uh, it's like the H-Link bracelet, and these are brushed uh, vertically, and these are brushed horizontally. Kind of gives you um, a, a two-tone style look, or, you know, they kind of look high polished at certain points, but they are actually brushed steel. So you're looking at a 44 millimeter case. It is a Miyota 9015 automatic movement, 52 millimeter lug to lug, 10.5 millimeter stick. So it is a very thin case, 100 meters water resistant, sapphire crystal. It is a screw down crown. You can see you have your date at the three o'clock position. Now your lug width, of course, is gonna be a little weird. This bracelet does not come off. Um, so it, if you don't like bracelet watches or you don't like the fact that you can't change out the strap or bracelet, obviously this is not really going to be for you. And strap width is, you know, here it's 14 millimeters, but really it's 26 millimeters when you're talking about the lugs and everything like that. So let's go ahead here and start uh, looking at the dial, give you a close-up look. You could see the lines here in the dial. You also notice the dial is very, very clean. It just says airs. There is no other text on this dial at all whatsoever. You could see your date cut out there. Go ahead here and get up a little closer. Give you a really good look at how this dial is done. Obviously, a lot of importance was placed on this dial. Um, it is a main highlight of this watch. And um, while it doesn't maybe look like a whole lot when you have it on your wrist, and if you're looking at it uh, from further away or at a glance, obviously when this is loomed, you're going to see um, how cool that dial looks here. You can see the circular brushing on that fixed bezel. There's a look at the lugs. Here is the crown side of the case. You can see that vertical brushing there as well. Um, pretty much exactly the same on the non-crown side of the case. There is uh, just that little bit of that polished edge there just to give a little bit of contrast. Now when you go ahead here and you uh, flip it over, there you could see your Miyota 9015 automatic movement and they went ahead and engraved the rotor. Now this is, as you can see here, this is a butterfly style clasp. And I wanna talk about that here for a minute. So if you take a look here, you're going to see half link. Now, all right, the watch just wants to drop into place. It's tired, it wants to lay down. These are the three and a half links that I removed uh, for this watch. 
So there are two half links included with this bracelet. And I have to say that is a great feature because um, a lot of times with a dual deployant clasp, if you don't have any micro extensions in a clasp uh, on the buckle part of it, um, then uh, a fit, you know, trying to get the perfect fit, uh, you know, it's either too loose, it's too large. So I took out one half length, one half length is in, and that really is the perfect size for my seven and a half inch wrist. And these do use one, um, uh, one piece uh, screw bars, excuse me, one piece screw bars. So all you do is need a little screwdriver. And you could size this, no problem, will only take you a couple of minutes. My God, will he show us the loom shot already. All right, well, everybody calm down. Here's what it looks like. I know you've been wanting to see, but this is that full loom dial, the orange Super Luminova. Obviously, if you like loom and you are looking for something very different, this would probably be a good choice. Let's go ahead here and I'll give you a look on my seven and a half inch wrist. 44 millimeters by 52 millimeters in length. So very typical for how a cushion style case like this would wear. And here we go and you could see how this fits me absolutely perfectly with those three and a half links removed. So, you know, based on some of my recent reviews, I know what some people are saying. Ah, oh, here's another micro. It's $790. And yeah, they are a micro brand. And yes, this is $790. And I hope I showed it off to you uh, well enough here. And um, again, your money, you're the consumer. You're the one that's going to make the decision as to whether or not you're going to buy this. And that ultimately will lead to if this company is, uh, you know, successful or not. Um, I, of course, am not going to sit here and tell you to go buy it. That's not my job. That's not what I do here. I will say, as always, uh, my thoughts and comments. I got to say, this is a really cool watch. Um, you know, it's not going to be for everybody. That dial... You know, if you like a three-hand dive watch or you just like a field watch or whatever, nothing wrong with that. I can understand this might be a little too out there, a little too funky. But I think you could see it's a very well-finished watch. You can see whether it's the case with the vertical brushing, the horizontal brushing, uh, the same that goes with the bracelet, the circular brushing. Everything's done very, very nicely. This is not a cheap looking or cheaply made watch. You do have the Miyota 9015. Obviously, a lot of time and money was spent uh, to uh, perfect these dials, and um, you know that's probably where a lot of that cost comes from. It's definitely not an off-the-shelf style of piece, and when you come to something like that, obviously it's going to be uh, more money. But uh, I can't say that I, I, you know, anything bad about them or anything bad about the company. I think they really did produce a great watch. It does not look like everything else out there in the market. Yeah, it's similar to Sarpaneva and might be similar to another brand or whatever. But th this is, you know, you're not going to run into a lot of people wearing this style of watch. Um, the 44 by 52 millimeters fits nice, uh, at least on my 7.5 inch wrist, as you saw. And, uh, you know, will probably be a good size. It's not large, large. It's not oversized, um, but it's not a small watch either. So depending on where you stand with that, this may work for you or may not. Um, but uh, be interested to see what will be next for Ayers and what they're working on. Uh, you know, for their second model. I think their first model, though, um, I definitely think they hit it out of the park. It's very cool. It's very different, and uh, I like it. Now, if you want to see more of this, click the link in the description. Take you over to watchreport.com. You can read my full article there. If you want to follow Ayers on uh, social media, you could find them, of course, on Instagram and Facebook. And you could find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. It is, of course, at watch report if you're not subscribed to the youtube channel yet and you like what we do here i hope you do anyway go ahead and subscribe and then hit that notification bell twice that way you never miss any of our content and always get notified when we have a new upload this has been a look at the ayers metropolitan it's been don evans for watchreport.com thanks for watching talk to you on the next one